I want to talk about a new function that's been added to Mark Edit 5.5 in the Delimited Text Translator. It has to do with how we group fields of data. In uh, previous versions of Mark Edit, when working with the tab Delimited Translator, um, if you had a field where you needed to have multiple groupings of fields that was of the same type, um, that couldn't be done. So let me show you what I'm. Let me show you how this has changed. Um, if we select our file, uh, I'm going to go ahead and select a test file, and I've created a mapping. So I'm going to go ahead and load it and explain what's happened. All right. So I have um, I have six fields, seven fields. Um, I have these three here, which are related: last name, first name, and uh, role, author's role, and then last name, first name, author's role and then a title. And so I've set up the arguments here. In the first one, I've mapped um, um, subfield, the, for the field 0 as subfield A, field 1 as subfield A, field 2 as subfield A, or subfield E. And then I've, I've joined these. I've right-clicked on them and joined them together. And I, what I've gotten is I've gotten them showing with an asterisk at the 700. Um, in the second set, I grouped them as well. In previous versions of Mark Edit, what would have happened is that you would have gotten a single asterisk and the 700 again, and Mark Edit would have treated those newly grouped fields as part of the first set of fields. And so what would have happened is you would have had a 700 field with all of the data from both sets of groups on it. So what this does is it allows you to add depth. It allows you to create distinct groupings of field data. And so here what we've done is there's two asterisks here. Mark Edit will track how often you've grouped your data. And based on the number of groupings, it'll add um, new asterisks to represent multi uh, new group sets. And so here we've got a second set of groupings. And these I just did by selecting them, right-clicking, and joining items. And that added that second, that second element set. So now I have those groups distinctly, and then I have my uh, title here at 245. And so when I go ahead and process these records, I get a record set that's generated here, and I'll go ahead and open it in the Mark Editor. And we can see that unlike previous editions of Mark Edit, that the 700 fields are broken up based on the level of grouping. So um, based on the grouping set that we did. And so we end up getting two distinct sets of 700 fields. Uh, this obviously can be used for any group field. You can group as many groups as you want, distinct groups as you want. Um, and Mark Edit will track those now and create for you um, these grouping sets. Um, like I said, this will be out. Um, when Mark Edit 5.5 is released, um, which is scheduled sometime for around the 1st of April 2011.